What? I don't think it works from in here. Okay. See any other room? Wait till Dennis it tells you to go. We're waiting for you, Dennis. Just let us know. Yeah, last night we had a meeting with a group of people, and um, one of the one of the chapters was from Poland, and they wanted to know what what to do, what the next step is. So Jacques wanted to address that specifically for them, but they're not here right now. But it's for everybody, of course. <coughs> you might have to come up closer because Jacques' voice isn't real loud. Compressed time, I can't go into all the details, but I'm going to tell you what you have to do if you want to see the Venus Project come about. If you do nothing, nothing will happen. And this is what you have to do. There's millions of people that are very religious. You have to package a presentation for them, and that is that most of the churches have sold out to the money system throughout the world. And those Christians that really believe in setting up a world which is a brotherhood of humanity, you have to get them to join the new, don't call it a Christian movement, the new movement to, to carry out the teachings of all religions. But don't use any name, Catholicism or Hamilton. Don't use any names. But you have to prepare a package for people to get them to form in the Zeitgeist movement for carrying out true religious teachings, not go to church and, and sing all day long, do things. Jesus said, by their work you shall know them. So all they talk about has no meaning at all, especially when Americans say, God bless America. You know, who the hell are you to tell God who to bless? All right, so the next thing that has to be done is you have to go into detail. We have to collect sufficient funds from corporations this is strange. So I'd like a young couple to go around the different corporations and say, if you don't say this, 50 million people in the world now know about the Venus Project. But there are only so many hundreds of thousands that are doing things now. So if you have any vision for improving your country, this is what you have to do. Go around to organizations and say this is the future trend. And uh, what the trend is, is to collect sufficient funds to build the first city here in this land. The first city will consist of engineers and planners who plan the detail of the city. I will give them the details, if they make contact with me, of how to build the city. What, what has to be done? You can go to concrete companies. You can go around and ask them to donate steel, whatever we need. Ask them for it. Say, if you want a future, this is the future. Otherwise, things are going to get worse. They're going to go downhill, and there'll be no future. This is what you have to tell businessmen, that the Venus Project does not want to destroy the free enterprise system. It wants to lift everybody up, so the richest person today will be considered poor in the Venus Project. Because the Venus Project has all kinds of medical research in heart disease, cystic fibrosis, all the diseases. No more digging up nickels and dimes. In a resource-based economy, do we have the resources to do this? We have more than enough resources. For education, due to the fact that parents are very slow, and parents don't know how to raise children, they really don't. They do it on a feeling basis. And if you really want your kids to be highly productive and intelligent, we can't take the children away from the parents. But we could do this have the parents send their kids to our summer camp. And at summer camp, we teach the kids all kinds of new things, including how their parents got to be the way they are. 
why they say, don't you play with that Catholic girl. You're a Lutheran. You don't play with that Seventh-day Adventist. You hurt people when you do that. You separate people. So we can't do that in front of the parents. They won't understand that. But while we're working on the kids, we make soap operas for television, standard-looking soap operas. And the kids say in the soap opera, or say as 20-year-old girl says, Daddy, I want to become a social anthropologist. He says, what's that? And it shows what it is. So every soap opera will be designed to turn people around. So you just don't watch Helen Trent's Troubles. All you see on soap opera is the same old story with different actors. And they always say they're having an affair. They can't even say they're having sex. You know what I mean, having an affair. I've been to a thousand restrooms and never found a place to rest. Think about it. So the world you live in has a language that was designed hundreds, hundreds of years ago, which makes it impossible to talk to each other. So what we have to do is get people together to go to corporations and try to get funding for building a new city. They say, well, what's a city for? This city is for sustainability. Have photoelectric cells so the whole city is self-contained. Remember this, the electric companies won't like it. Because if you generate your own power and maintain your own city, a lot of people are going to dislike it. So you tell the electric companies, if the millions of people are out of work, they can't afford electric light anyway. So you're going to have problems ahead. This is why we're doing it, to develop proof of a sustainable city. Now, naturally, if we build a city and there are certain things that don't work too well, we'll change them right then and there. Because this is how you learn. I think I told some of you in the past that sincere people believe man can fly and they built small wings and they, the guy jumped off the Eiffel Tower and he died. And his brother wrote, make wings larger next time. That's how you get experience. Everybody makes mistakes or nobody makes any mistakes. The first guy that flew with nitroglycerin, nitric acid glycerin, the building disappeared, so did the guy. His cousin wrote, never fool with that stuff. So there's only one way to learn, and that's no one makes mistakes. They try whatever they know. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. They invented the word mistake, which is untrue. Because there's no such thing as good or bad people. If you were raised by the headhunters, you'd hunt heads. If you were raised as an Eskimo and never saw anything else, you'd be an Eskimo. If I said to you, you can have anything you want, what do you want? He doesn't say a stainless steel pool table. He can't even think of that if he's an Eskimo. So people, this is a hard thing to say. If you ask people what they want, they really don't know. Now they think they want a job to earn enough money to pay for a house and a car. What they want is a house and a car. They don't want a job. So people don't even know how to come to the point. What is it that you want? You want to be free to study whatever you want to study in any university without owing $40,000 when you get out. The better educated all people are all over the world, the richer the whole world. Every kid deprived of a college education or information is going to hurt you. Every kid shooting up drugs you're going to pay for later on. So I notice that a lot of high school kids and college kids hang out in malls, I'm not like the United States. There should be art centers, music centers, cultural centers for kids to go to, not hang out in Coca-Cola stands or in restaurants. So we are abusing millions of people that way. And we would take all the soldiers and teach them how to become problem solvers. 